Okay, styrofoam, vapor barrier done. Styrofoam, vapor barrier done. Okay, we're gonna start installing the radiant tubes. I figured out, well figured out, I have a 20, up, I have a 20 by 24 thing. What is this called? Uh, slab. And PEX run in half inch, can't go over 300 feet. So I have 480, 20 times 24. Therefore, divide that by two. I have two 240 foot loops. They have to be equal size. You can't have a 300 and a 120. Equal size. <clears throat> the reason you can't have that is because it'll, all the water will go through the 120 because it's easier. So, equal lengths, 240 feet. I'm going to start running the pipe out and it's written right on the pipe what footage you're at. And so I'm just going to keep track of it when I get to 240. Then I'll make my way back to the entrance point, which is over there. And uh, then I'm going to do the same down here. Two loops, 288 feet. Done. I've got foam staples that go over the piping. And uh, we're going to see uh, if I get this done. No, we're going to get this done. So you can see here, um, I've laid out the tubes. They're 12 inches apart. Um, and what I'm doing now is I'm trying to use up the last footage so that both loops are equal. So I did this fancy little curl thing here, but. So I found myself driving these staples in and they would bend sideways and they wouldn't go in. I have to hit them a hundred times. So these are actually designed to be used with a tool, a stapler, which you walk around and you go ka-chunk, 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 which seems way easier than banging these in like crazy. So I uh, drilled a hole in a wood block and this lets me bang the staple in in just a couple swings. So drill a hole in a small block of wood and it'll save yourself a lot of time. You see uh, the radiant tubing is done on the top, the styrofoam, the vapor barrier, everything is ready for concrete. The, down, the downstairs, the basement, is also completed. It's got radiant tubes, styrofoam, vapor barrier, everything. So this is completely ready for concrete. Uh, just installed a couple drains that you see here. Um, we were going to do a trench drain, but I didn't, I didn't build it in time. Um, so I just put in this little trap type of uh, drain. It's a six inch. And I've got one in that corner. And I have one in this corner. <clears throat> I filled them with rocks so that they, they don't float up out of the slab. Um, so this grate goes on top. Ta -da. Water goes in. Hopefully this gives me the option to clean stuff out if it falls in. Where if I had just a straight pipe that went down into the ground, I couldn't clean it out. I also have another one down there little tiny drain. No, it's the same size, six inch. Um, and this is the tubing here. You can see the styrofoam is cut around some rocks that were poking up out uh, there and also there. But they were going to come by and do the, uh, do the slab today, but we got a thunderstorm this afternoon and so they, uh, they didn't want the floor to be ruined by the thunderstorm, which makes sense. It makes me happy. So yeah, here it is. Um, hopefully tomorrow this will be a concrete floor. So this video I took merely as documentation for me uh, where the tubing is in the floor. So it's not very exciting, it's not very well done, and I'm not really saying anything. So um, feel free to skip on to the next video, uh, which is them actually pouring the floor. Uh, or you can watch. Um, I basically have two loops in the bottom section, one on the left and one on the right. Um, and oh, close up of the drain, very nice. Um, close up of this last ending loop here, which I just basically coiled up like that because I had excess tubing. So I don't think there's a ton of science to this. I mean, there is, and you can calculate it all. But basically, get the tubes in the floor. You bring them 12 inches apart, and you run hot water through them. It makes the concrete hot. 
I mean, it's a different story if you're building a house and you want to make sure that that floor is perfectly comfortable. But for a garage, eh, close enough. <laughs>